everybody, it's Sam Jacobs. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Fundamentals. We, as you, I, I would hope that you know, but if you don't know, Friday Fundamentals, it's that short five to 10 minute format. We, we ask one question to our weekly guest. They give us an amazing answer. We share it with you. Maybe you're walking to work, maybe you're at home, but then you're going to go to your laptop and do something else. And this is something actionable, tactical, useful, specific. So we're super excited about it. And we've got this week's guest back on the show, Michael White. And Michael's going to be talking to us about the three keys to success, the three keys to success. And it's, this, it's specifically for your prospects, for your clients, but it's really three things to think about. And it's, and it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great, a great discussion. But before we get there, we want to thank our sponsor. Friday Fundamentals is brought to you by Outreach. Outreach triples the productivity of sales teams and empowers them to drive predictable and measurable revenue growth. By prioritizing the right activities and scaling customer engagement with intelligent automation, Outreach makes customer-facing teams more effective and improves visibility into what really drives results. Now, Michael, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Hey, hey. <laughs> we're, we're excited to have you back. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to put this question to you. The three keys to success with your clients and with really any prospect or customer, what are the three keys to success? Okay. So in no particular order, you have to have perspective. It is not enough to say you want to make uh, another $100,000 this year. What changes once you make the $100,000? Like, what does it mean to you? Why is it important? Because without that, you're chasing the wrong thing. So the perspective and, and understanding the true motivation. The other thing is really asking ourselves, but also asking our clients is, you know, do you understand, do they understand what progress looks like? How do they know? How are they measuring progress? For progress looks differently to different people. So for some, progress might just be like getting feedback and not interrupting the person and letting them say everything they have to say and then responding. That is progress for some people. But if we're not clear, then we can miss it. And uh, the third, but certainly not the, uh, not the least, by any means is the ability to suspend ego. Ego is a tricky, tricky little devil. And it, it just messes a lot of things up that could otherwise be really, really beautiful. So the ability to listen, but also really hear, while also being able to communicate in the way that your audience needs to receive the information does require a, a sort of dying to yourself a little bit sometimes. But suspending ego, having perspective, and understanding what progress looks like to you would I would say be the it. three keys. I love it. Perspective, progress, and the ability to suspend ego. Ego is is indeed a little devil. Uh, <laughs> Michael, it's been great having you on the show this week. Uh, remind us, if folks want to get in touch with you, what's the best way? Sure, best way is michael at nunda.com. But for all of you that are thinking that it's spelled like a dude, it is M-Y-K-A-L at nunda.com. Not spelled like a dude. Not right spelled there. like a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, it's been great having you on the show. Thanks so much. Uh, if folks want to reach out to me, you can linkedin.com forward slash the word in forward slash Sam F. Jacobs. My LinkedIn inbox is a little backed up right now, but feel free. If you want to email me, you can do that too. Sam at revenuecollective.com. Thanks again to our sponsor, Outreach. They are tripling the productivity of sales teams the world over. Go to outreach.io for more information. And we will talk to you next time. Michael, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much.